Welcome to the Times Podcast. Coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out. It's there. You're listening to the Times Sounds Podcast. I'm slightly awestruck to have two legends with me today, Murdoch and 2D Murdoch. from Gorillas. <laughs> Murdoch and Murdoch. <laughs> <laughs> that bloody schizophrenia. <laughs> it's getting worse. Hi no, there, Pete. Murdoch Pete, and 2D, how hello are you? Hello, Times. I'll just say hello to the Times people. Hello, Times people. I never me. thought I'd see the day where I'd, I'd be in a, such an illu illustrious well, to company. to be honest with you, Pete, I never thought I'd see the day. Well, that, you know, it's been that bad. But anyway, come on. It's an ongoing struggle for <laughs> all of us. It is for me. It? Well, yeah. you know. And talking of existential struggles, there are, you, you've written a book which I'm quite surprised well, by. we have, yes. I d should I be surprised? Not really. It had to be done, didn't it, 2D? It had to be written out, all of the what happened and how it is. And, you know. I didn't know we write a book. Oh, didn't you? Oh, no, no. one told you. Oh, no, but he can't, he can't... Well, the thing is, he can't spell anyway, so... No, I mean, we just wrote the whole story of gorillas. It's called Rise of the Ogre. It's a very... It makes an excellent stocking filler. So, Rise of the Ogre, how does it measure up, then, in your eyes, guys? Rise of the Ogre, it's the best, you know? It's an incredible book. It's the astonishing tale of the greatest band that ever lived, gorillas. It's our sort of... Autobiography is told first hand by four Gorillaz members. That's my good self, Murdoch Nichols, uh, singer 2D, our uh, drummer Russell, and Noodle, the Gorillaz guitarist. Rise of the Ogre, and it takes the reader on the wildest ride of their life, and it's got everything in it. How I formed this incredible band, how we found Russell, ghosts, demons, assassinations, breakups, breakdowns, the awards ceremonies, the zombies, death and tequila. Oh yeah, not to mention the hit records, wild tours and the jail spells. Uh, you know, there's no book like it. You know, it's gorillas, isn't it? Yeah. It starts right back from our childhood, you know, how I put this band together piece by piece. We get to see the early gigs, you know, when we got signed, how we made a fantastic multi-million selling debut album, around the world tours, that sort of thing. Then there's our attempts to break Hollywood, and how we reformed to record Demon Days, our devastating second album, subsequently sort of released a murder of magical videos to go with the chart-topping singles. Yeah. So hanging out with De La Soul, Ike Turner, Dennis Hopper, jamming with Madge, that's all, you know. That, that's Madonna. You oh, talking Madonna? about? Yeah. yeah, Madge, yeah. How yeah. is she? What? How is she? Short. Short, short fit, lovely. Yeah. Nah, she fit. Now, uh, also laying down tracks with uh, Sean Ryder, yeah, when we, when we could. Yeah. yeah. Got him in, you know, did it. And the book sort of basically, yeah, yeah. And the book basically tells the story of how we gorillas came to rule the world. There's never been a book like it, Peter. Never. It's also good for keeping doors open as well. Yes. It's quite heavy, isn't yes. it? Yes. It's very good for that, actually. Um, well, the and and um, it's, it's good for. Um, Sitting on. It, no, it's good for. Um, <laughs> It's coming, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I can see it. It's gone. It's gone. Sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was so nearly there. Yeah. Are you a bit of a frustrated literary genius? I'm just frustrated. You know. Um, yeah, but I am a bit of a. I no. <laughs> Whose who's idea was it? Was it your idea? Of course it was. You know, it's like everything else. Yeah, yeah, and they, everyone just followed. You know. It's a bit conduit for your uh, later. Uh, uh, can I? Can I just? Uh, can you? What? Well, uh, uh, sorry, Karen, I forgot it's what I was going to say. It's all right, no, it's, no, it's all right. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. It's all right, it's all right. Don't worry. He, get, he gets like that sometimes. Yeah. There's a word for that. There's a, it's what a, is it? Less, less, well, it's l'esprit d'escalier, the spirit of the stairs. Do you know that? That's more than one word. Well, it's, it's a... How many words is that? Come on. That, <laughs> well, you got le. This man <laughs> went to school. I'm a bit scared of him. He went to school. He knows words. <laughs> spirit of the stairs, it's like when you... Oh, nice one. When you leave a room... And uh, and then you sort of uh, leave. Uh, your... Can we talk about your you... book, please? Can no, we just Pete, move on? Pete, no, I'm interested in this. And you leave your sort of aura, do you? Is it? Well, spirit of stairs. Then you sort of like forgot to say something, and then you kind of have to come back. Oh, <laughs> I got that wrong, didn't yeah. I? Okay. <laughs> um, All right. Keep reading the Times. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Um, you've never you've never told your story before. Was it was it quite sort of cathartic thing to sort of get out your system? Uh, well, yeah, in short, yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. yeah. Was yeah. it like going to therapy or something? Uh, yeah, probably. I don't know. I, yeah, I suppose, I suppose so. You know, it's just the story of gorillas, you know, the beginning, middle, and, well, I won't say the end, but the bit we're in now, you know, whatever that's called. It's not the end. But, uh, you know, some one, uh, wonderful drawings in there. This bloke, Jamie Hewlett, did some drawings. He's quite good. I think he traces a lot of them. Copy. Our, our drummer, I think our, he does. Our drummer, Russell, probably had the worst time making the book, though. Um, he's the one who had that ghostly spirit of his, en of his endead friend. Not undead, but endead. Is this Del? Yeah, just Del. Yeah. Is he, is oh, Russell. Yeah. 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 So, so yeah. <clears throat> has Russell, Russell, uh, has he exercised, exorcised Del? Uh, I think he's just got membership to Holmes Place on Labbert Grove. <laughs> That'll so, that, that, exercise him, won't it? Yeah, if that doesn't do what it, do you nothing. mean? I don't know. I'm very frustrated <laughs> this morning. It's lovely to witness the bond between you, actually, after after all, oh, all, the, after like, all we've been through. I don't like the last bond. <laughs> I think you're in a bit, in a, in I don't, a bit of a minority there. This guy, you what, know, because I've got I, purple hair? It's a purple-headed trouser snake. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> that uh, can we say that in the Times telepod? What, uh, or, or pod. Uh, well, if you literally, uh, iPod, me if you literally mean a trouser snake, a snake that you have well, in a trouser. Well, oh, then it's fine. Well, of I course, do. Yeah. I do. I yeah. do. Uh, any, anything else you need to know? We don't do metaphors here. Met um, no, we do meta fives. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're so advanced. High meta fives. High meta fives. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite good, that, isn't it? A meta five for the. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wow! Okay. The book, the book. Let's talk about the book. <laughs> oh did come it, on! Did this. it turn out how you expected? It's better. It's much better, actually. What do you think, Two D? It's better, isn't it? Have you looked at it? I, he hasn't even seen it. I don't think. Well, um, has he got the Gorillas book? We're talking oh. not the Noddy book. I saw you reading earlier. Oh no! Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Better. It, better. Oh, it's an experience. You know, it's not like any other book you'll get, really. You know. <laughs> I've just, funnily I've had a copy placed upon my it's desk falling here. out the sky. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's all, it's all in here. Um... It sounds like you couldn't just stop yourself once you started. No, 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 it all came out, that's right, you know, because it's quite a story anyway, the, the way the band came together and, you know, our sort of, uh, rock and roll roller coaster. Can we just, uh, get right, just a know. big shout out to my man, like, Cash Brown? Yeah, no, big it up for Cass, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. Yeah, big it up for Cass, because without, without him, it would be a whole lot better off. No, without him, <laughs> none of this would have happened. Cass Brown, who is Cass well, Brown? Well, Cass Brown, you know, is a bit of a ghost, isn't he? He Actually, he's a ghost writer. Well, he's writer, not alive really. anymore. Isn't he? No, he is. Last time I saw him, he was. No, no, yeah. I dimly remember him from, from a couple of bands from my indie past. Oh, well, yes. No, he's, he's, he's a bit same of a dark horse, you know. Oh, yeah. I don't think you want to yes. rear your indie past right there, actually. Well, well, he's the man not? what wrote a lot of this, you see, with my help, you know. He wrote it all down. And uh, and and so he's put it all together and collated it, you know, into so he was, his book. He was fantastic like, job. Yeah. He was like the Hunter oh. Davis to your Wayne Rooney, sort of. <laughs> Hunter Davis, is, oh, has he written a ghost biography of Wayne Rooney? They're, chum, they're unlikely chums now. One of the thinnest books in the world. Did you know that Wayne uh, Rooney's actually a sex symbol in Ireland? Is that right? Yeah. What's the punchline? There's not a good oh, side <laughs> saying that he's a sex symbol. Why anyway, are you talking into a pair of tights? <laughs> again. <laughs> It's coming on I ain't happy I'm feeling glad I got sunshine In a bag I'm useless But not for long The future is coming on It's coming on It's coming on um, the, the book is already doing quite well As, a, as an iTunes audiobook download it's straight, straight to number four, is that right? Yeah, yeah, well, numbers one, two and three Are held by Ricky Gervais mm -hmm. Well, not to shift him, are you? He's the, he's the pod father, apparently He's a pod tyrant. He's fat. He's, he's podtastic. And he's what? Fat. That, he's not I mean, actually And really, I mean, is like, he? rich. Fat. Oh, he's not really that fat, is he? No, but he's got lots of money. Fat. Oh, he's fat. Yeah. <laughs> but we also did it. We have done oh, it. I never uh, said anything about his weight, mate. You did. You're talking about... We extrapolated. Yeah. 
from exactly, your, I've from, done that. From words that will ultimately come back and I extrapolate all over the floor. <laughs> uh, anyway, no, we, did, we actually did... Yeah, right, we did an audio version of the book. And yeah. it was actually read by the venerable actor himself, Joss Ackland. He's a lovely fella. Oh. Absolutely. absolutely. He's 52 now, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think that's right. And it gives, the, it gives the book a whole new sense of gravity, having him narrate it, you know. You couldn't have 2D do it. You no. know, it would have no gravitas. No, absolutely no gravitas. Mm -mm. And he might, he might drop off from time to time yeah. as well, so he wouldn't get a consistent read, you know. But you don't, you don't gravitas mind is not my forte. No. What is your forte? <laughs> Well, not knowing what words like gravitas mean, <laughs> so not getting that, offended, that, really. Yeah. yeah, you see, it bounces off him. Beautiful. Of uh, but like you can hear like a swan, like a signet, and like a scon. Like, like a swan, swan scon. <laughs> like a swan shaped scon. Have you had any feedback from people in the book? No. Well, we did get a bit of. Boo. That's the only feedback we got. Oh, ah, 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 no. <laughs> Actually, uh, to be honest, Peter, I've got to be honest with you, I am fully expecting the lawsuits to come rolling in any day now. Like Courtney Love and Al Sir Alan Sugar, Cameron, yeah. Kylie, Danny, Angelina. I've had them all. So I'm yeah. probably going to hire some cartoon lawyer to deal with all the crazy <laughs> crap. Uh, I look forward to countersuing all comers. It's just like tennis, really. How's that? Jade Goody, you two, Kerry Katona. Where? David... Are they David here? Hasselhoff. Oh, has, Shane Warne. Has. No, Shane, Shane Ward. Tommy <laughs> Chong. <laughs> Tommy Chong. God, the, the wonderful Tommy Chong. Well, they've all got books published this Christmas. What do you think of the competition? I, it's, it, it's just the type of moronic lineup that we faced in the music world, and I think we'll demolish the lot of them, quite frankly. It's a bumper, bees, a book of bullshit. And if you whack someone over the head with this, they're really going to feel it. Do you I know, know what I'm I, saying? I can vouch for that. Yeah, well, there's only one occasion when I hit you with it. But, I mean, there's no competition, really. I mean, if Bono and co can come up with a story that not only encompasses platinum-selling albums, chart-topping hips and global sellout tours, but also includes zombies, possessions, deals with the devil, jail spells, car crashes, fairgrounds and Ike Turner. Uh, Detail. Uh, <laughs> how's that? Yeah, well, tennis. Could, yeah, but in Jade Goody's book, her mum loses an arm, and that's pretty good. But she got okay. it back. Okay. So, did, so did the fella from Peter Pan. But no, he didn't write a book, did he? No. Got the bloke from Peter Pan. Yeah, Hook. He lost it. He oh. lost it, didn't he? <laughs> I guess so. There is a thread. Uh, anyway, gorillas are the winners by a long shot. <laughs> you know, I'd be surprised if Tommy Chong can remember any of his biography, judging by the amount of goulash he was putting away in the 70s. You know. Up in smoke, one of the best films. Oh, no, time. absolutely. Absolutely. I, now, there's a few Dave Dinners. jokes in there. I love that. It's Dave. There's no Dave here. <laughs> I am Dave. I love it. That's great stuff. We could all relate to that somehow. Did you used to sit there listening to it? I'm sure you did. Yeah, I actually, like, it was I, an education. I, I, yeah. I like Mexican Americans. Do you remember that? Yeah. No. Well, they were, they are Mexican Americans, aren't they? Just joining. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, we're still together. What's the, what's the best rock book ever apart from your own? Best rock book ever. Um. I did like Motley Crue's book, The Dirt. That's an eye-watering read. Led Zeppelin, The Hammer of the Gods. That's a good one, too. It's a bit tame by today's standards. Uh, Lester Bangs and Greel Marcus have uh, both had a fair crack at rock literature. Marilyn Manson's long, hard, cheesy road out of hell. That was a good read. <laughs> He's a very good writer, in fact. Yeah. It's like reading the memoirs of the fifth Marx brother. Very funny. So what books did you read as kids? Uh, Paddington Goes to Hell, that's one I can Classic. remember. Yeah, it's great. You know, that's when he gets sort of, goes into the dark sort of world. Poor old Pads gets off his nut and sort of just, you know, <laughs> go, goes missing for days on end. He says, I'm popping out to get a pint of milk and, you know, she doesn't see him for like two weeks or whatever. Oh, they shot me in their marmalade sandwiches. Yeah, you know, he it's had a, a problem. I think he's all right now. Uh, I think he's, I think he's well, got Peruvian it Peruvian bears, they, they brought a few That's funny, he was from, from Peru, you see. Yeah. You, you see how interesting that is, you know? It is. The land of the bugle. Uh, I once yeah. had something bear from Peru. Did Sorry. you have, did someone bear gifts from Peru? Yes. For you? What was it, some Peruvian scans? <laughs> <laughs> no, they were a, a very interesting. Uh, anyway, let's shut it down. Was matter. it like an in, uh, uh, an Inca uh, uh, of an Inca sort of persuasion? It was an Inca tennis racket. Ah, 
highly strung. I shouldn't wonder. An <laughs> Inca <laughs> tennis racket. Um, five go. I'm trying to think of some other great books I read as a kid. Five go mad on masculine. That was another one. Little Miss Mayhem. Oh yeah, Enid Blyton's harrowing tales of horror. That was a, that was a good read there. Uh, Anton LaVey's Satanic Bible. Uh, James and the Giant Inverted Crucifix. Chitty Chitty Gang Bang. That was good. Bang. I, yes. <laughs> Chitty Chitty Gang Bang. Bang. Yes. It was good. Have you seen, I don't know if you've seen that one. My, my, my father like, was a twisted and horribly brutal man who would basically rewrite kids' books and then leave them by the bedside for me I to read at night. Yeah, it was think, terrible. What a thing to do. I think maybe you had a different bookshop to the one I... Yeah, well, it was my old man who did all that. He, he did his best to scare the crap out of me and make my childhood as traumatic as possible. Still, you're, really you're reaping the benefits I now. am, you see, Peter. I wouldn't, have been, I wouldn't be the man that I am today if it wasn't for that, really. Indeed. Guys, it's really good to see you kind of getting on, especially after, you know, for those of us that don't know the kind of tortured, harrowing backstory to gorillas, some of the, um, some of the kind of t terrible things you've done to 2D Murdoch. Has he? Oh, have I? Well, I just, uh, this business... Where did you hear that? Oh, we had well, a run him over. Yeah, yeah, he actually bounced a car off my head. Has yeah. done him any harm, though? Twice, in fact. Look at him. Well, the second time went rather better, didn't it? Yeah, uh, that's how, how, how actually we, we, how we met. In Tell them what date it was. It was August the 15th, 1997. You so, see? It so means that a lot got you out of your coma, did it? Is that right? No, that got me in my coma. <clears throat> but didn't the second one get you back out of it? Or something like that. <laughs> But I, I knocked I knocked one of his eyes out. I think that needs to be mentioned. And I, just, I put him into a coma instantly. I'll tell you what, I was laughing so much, I, could, I didn't hear the cops pull up outside. <laughs> and I was, and they nicked me. I was sentenced to, I think it was something like 30,000 hours of community service. And part of the job, you know, was to look after this moron. Yeah. Well, that's karma, isn't it? Not really, no. I kept telling him to calm down, but he wouldn't. Yeah. It's just that you keep ruining his relationships as well. I mean, I do. I Who feel is? a bit sorry oh, for two days. Well, we talk about Paula. Paula Cracker and then Rachel Stevens. Tell them. I was in a relationship with six your... other people. That was a problem with her. You yeah, know? he's got a bit of a problem, I think, around so all Paula that. So Paula Cracker, yeah. she was uh, she was in Gorillas early on. Is that right? She was. Well, she was. Yeah. You know, she's in the original. I think, yeah, she was. Line you know, up. she was all uh, almost like um, a tea 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 lady with a difference. Yeah. What was, the, what was the difference? Scones. <laughs> <laughs> yes, her enormous capacity to make scones. Yes. All, he all actually shagged her in the toilets at Kong Studios, didn't you? Was it? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that was right. Wow. You know, um, or did you shag her in the toilets? I did as well. You know, and, then, did, and then you yeah. had prospects with Rachel Stevens. Yeah, tell them about that too, dear. That's well, amazing. Like I, mean, like I said, it was like there was, but there were six other people in the relationship. <laughs> you know, well, S, the rest of us club said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that, uh, yes. Murdoch, you mentioned a few bands that you were previously in. Uh, right, let me see. Uh, yeah, uh, Kiss and Makeup. They were yeah, an Kiss and Makeup, yeah. That's right, they were, they were like an electro keyboard double act sort yeah. of thing, you know, like, like the Thompson Twins, only on crystal meth, you know, if you can imagine. Doing Kiss songs. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, a bit German, you know, sort of bit glam. Lovely. Uh, I, was, I was called Terry Kiss at the time. He was called so, Terry Kiss. <laughs> that's right, I was. Uh, but... <laughs> But Bobby Makeup. Was, oh, Bobby Makeup was Remember good. him? Yeah. He was just a great big headed tosser, so we split. Yeah. Oh, yeah, another one, Ball Worker. Oh, were, ball, he was Ball yeah, Worker. Ball worker. Yeah, I remember Ball Worker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were like sort of Dungeons and Dragons type metal outfit. You know, Dungeons leather, and Dragons? Leather, 
Uh, so one boy, yeah. Uh, 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 leather wristbands, you know, headbands, spandex, I, I like fire Dave, breathing, that sort of thing. I like it when you were in Dave and the Daves. That was good. Dave and the Daves, yeah. They were. There was. Uh, let me see now. Nine of us, I think, in that one. It was a bit of a. Never earned much money there. It always had to no. split it nine ways, obviously. You know. <laughs> but there you are. I was going to say seven, but that's a lot of Daves. A lot of Daves, too many Daves, well. that's what we thought. We actually had a meeting one day, you know, we'd been gigging, we had a meeting, we sat down, we, we all agreed we said too many Daves. You know, we were just saying. I bet it. you were counting the Daves. We were counting the Daves. <laughs> we were absolutely were. We were ticking them off. I remember the Daves. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, back in the Daves. Yeah. Uh, uh, the Tigers, oh, here's one, uh, another band uh, I was involved in, the Tigers of Pang Tang. Really? Uh, they were great. Yeah. They were quite well known uh, at the yeah. time, weren't they? <laughs> they were. Strangely enough, they were, Peter. You, you new know, wave of British heavy metal. Yeah, uh, they're incredible. They're really scary. Yeah. I, I think, you know what, a little bit before our time, to be honest. You know. we, it would have been bigger than gorillas if we'd start together. Way bigger. Do you reckon? I no. don't think there's a market no, for it, not. to be honest. I, uh, th I think that if you were the topless toast makers, you would have gone a bit further than gorillas, mate. Topless toast makers? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I can, I can see that. I can see that. That would have worked. Uh, and then there was the stupid name gang. I like that one. They, they, well, actually, we split after one rehearsal. Never mind. And Durango 95, which I don't know if anyone gets that reference at all. D Durango 95? Yeah. Does anyone get that reference? Should, no, should I? Should yeah, I? Well, Clockwork Orange, yeah. Uh. That's the name of a car in Clockwork Orange. Yeah. Anyway, because you've been next to Duran Duran in, the, in HMV as well, so you might get a few... Yeah, pick up Durango. Were they all killed? In a car crash? Yeah. Yeah, they were, actually. Shame, um, really, but there you are. Uh, Crimson Backdraft, that was another one. They were total shit. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, in answer to the question, you know, eventually I put gorillas together and uh, not a moment too soon, and the rest is hysterical. <laughs> History, actually. <laughs> well, what's been more enjoyable to you, doing the book or doing the music? Uh, well, to, to us, uh, well, to me, uh... I'd say, I'd say, I'd say, I'd say, music. Yeah. Music, yeah. actually. Yeah, of course. Is that because mm. it's the food of love? Of course it is. Something um, like that. Something like that. I don't, no. Well, we get to play <laughs> with all just, these great it's people. It's just easier you know? than writing. It's what I we do, isn't it? Just open your mouth and sing a beautiful song. Yeah. It's what we do. No windmill for the man, forever hanging. To carry on talking to you, but we can't. Frankly, we have to it stop. It's really, <laughs> really nice meeting you, Pete. Likewise, thank you for being so gentle with me. Anything you'd like to say as one last uh, swan scum? Yeah, keep on rocking. Uh, uh, peace in the southeast. Did you say scum song? Swan scum, <laughs> scum swan, <laughs> glorious scum <scones>. swan. <laughs> All right, thank you, Murdoch 2D. It's been a pleasure. Have a good one, thank Peter. You. You've been listening to The Times Podcast, produced by Unique.